I'll tell you now, there is no secret to being organized. There is no secret, but there is a magic. There's no, people think it's a secret because a lot of, a majority of people can't figure it out. And I don't mean creating a to-do list or making a schedule and doing a few things on them. I mean, really optimizing that word, organize. Like, getting the most out of that word, organize. And when you do that, you then maximize your time, which means you get more out of your time, which means you get more done. And that's what everyone's goal is. No matter what you do in life, you want to get, you want, you want to be productive, whether you know it or not, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. Everyone wants to be more productive, accomplish more, get more. All right. So there's no secret that this that this thing is super important up there with air. Not as high, but up there. So how do we do it? How do we actually get organized? What is the first step? All right, mister. So you, yeah, you figure this out. Yeah, you understand how the brain works. Big deal. A lot of us have theories. But the questions still go unanswered. So do you have an answer? What's your solution? Yes, I do. And it's not mine. I just got it from someone else and thought about it and put a little bit more on it. All right. First, the first step is you have to want to. I mean, want to. Okay. Just want. You can't do anything with everything starts with a want, a desire, something, something, a want. Because once you want it, then you'll be thinking, then you will begin the thinking process about it and it'll be more part of you. And right after want comes need. You notice I went straight from want to need because want doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what you want. It matters only for temporary physical pleasure and, and uh, significance, happiness, and desires filling your desires but it's not as important as need need is air need is love and we all need love whether we know it or not because we don't have it we fall apart that's why it's a need and we don't need as much as air to live but to have a live a good life you need love okay period okay the strongest guy in prison or the weakest guy in the corporate world it doesn't matter we all need love somewhere in our life okay so need you got to if you want to get organized, you're going to have to need, need to get, get organized because you know by getting organized, you are going to be more productive in where you are, which is going to mean you can possibly make more money. You'll, it means you'll have more happiness. You'll fulfill your relationships, your obligations. You'll be more comfortable and relaxed, happy. I mean, all those things come from getting organized because you maximize your time. You, you make the most out of your time. So you're going to have to need that feeling. Okay. So now we got. It's so now that we've gotten gone through the feelings, the wants and the needs. Now it's time to take action, and, and that does begin with writing things down, because writing them down gets it out of your head. To this point, it's been in your head like a bunch of marbles, and just shaking around. They're nice and colorful. You could sell. They probably could sell well, but they can't. They're, they're mixed all over the place. You don't even know who's who, where's where. You, it's too confusing to even think about. So you don't. That's what happens. So write it down. Get it out of your mind and onto the paper. Uh, this is what the business world calls from mind to market. It's, it was an idea and now it is a thing that has actualized. So write it down. And some people say you shouldn't write a long list. Some people say, you know, write a short list so you don't overwhelm yourself. But then some say if you don't write the long list and you're missing out on some things that could possibly come up. So each person is their own person. Do whatever feels good to you. Just do one of them. Write it down. Just write it down. Uh, what it is you need to accomplish in the next day or in the next week, year. It's a big list. Then you have your daily list. You have your daily your daily list, but then you also have your list. You know, it's your map, your life map. Where do you want to go? Where do you see yourself? And what are the things that need to happen for that to take place? That's your life map. So you wrote them down. Step number four. Organize the thoughts. Okay, so... I'm writing this down, actually. So if you wrote some things down that you're trying to accomplish, now you need to start putting some... Organized thought to each thought because even with them even when here's the mistake that a lot of people they get to this part and they Hit a wall. They don't even know the wall is there. It's like an invisible wall because they don't realize this 
just because you wrote it down doesn't make doesn't mean it makes sense to you. <laughs> All right, just because you put it on paper doesn't mean you oh you got to figure it out. Our minds, our brains are still working when we're not working. So some things we just don't it, it doesn't resonate or we don't comprehend it the way we would a, another way. Right? And so it starts with not mixing them up. You can't cross pollinate your thoughts. You know, separate them. Figure out what's the most important thing you want to do. And put that at the top of the list. What is the most important thing you have to do and put it at the top of the list? Now, why is it at the top? Why would you put the most important thing at the top? Because that's, the, that's what you want to work on first. Because that's what's going to fulfill you and give you that sense of accomplishment. By writing it down at the top, having, having this be the first thing, the most important thing that you take care of, this will now begin to grow your self-confidence, which grows your ability to even get more organized with your thoughts, which makes you even more productive. It feeds itself. Positive feeds positive, negative feeds negative. When you are unorganized, that's negative, and it's a negative feed. That's why you stay unorganized. That's why they say the rich get richer and the poor get poor, because the rich keep doing what the rich have done to get richer and rich in the first place. And the poor, they just keep doing whatever they did to stay poor. And either one of them could change their thought in a blink. It's a beautiful thing about thought. You don't have to take a class and wait six weeks, six months, or six years. You can graduate tonight, today. Now, <laughs> you just have to accept the fact that you have full responsibility of your thought process. Okay? And that means you have full responsibility and you have full control under God. Got to make sure you put it out there because some folks will come after you and say, you said that you control the world and everything. No, you control everything that's in your world. Yes, that's why God gave us this thing called free will. That means you're free to do what you will. Right? He has. He, he oversees. He's this. His. It's his world. His planet. His galaxy. His. Thing, his thing. But he's given us a lot of power. So don't squander it away. So getting organized. Getting organized thought is only going to get you more inspired. Um, get your list more organized, which will make you more productive. Which will create happiness inside of you, which will then inspire you to be even more productive and get even more organized. Because you're going to keep doing. Like, watch. You're going to keep doing what you've been doing to gain that feeling, which is. Happiness, feeling like you're moving forward and accomplishment, a sense of accomplishment. You just keep feeding it. So that's the next step. Feed. Feed. You probably got. I probably have to, have to add a word to that so it make more sense to the to the naked eye. You know, feed encouragement. Encouragement feed. There you go. Call it. We'll call it encouragement feed. And. Because basically you are feeding yourself encouragement. And that's a nourishment. That's your spirit, your man, your your body, your, every, your everything needs. It needs that encouragement. So once you, your encouragement feed, and watch how this works. Your encouragement feed not only feeds you. But the most powerful thing about it all is it feeds everyone it comes in contact with. Whether they know it or not. It feeds them. And once you do know it. They take advantage of it, and then they begin the process, and they begin to feed. And that's this is how you grow. And the ones who didn't get it at first, they may get it later. A lot of them do. Some get it later, some get it later, and later, some get it later, then later, later. And unfortunately, some never get it. But that's the cycle of the world. We can't, we can keep, we just got to, we have to keep working towards the ultimate goal and pray for those who don't have the strength or can't find the strength to see it. Just pray though. No, let's not pray that prayer. Let's pray that they find it. Let's just pray that they find it. Pray that they find it. The stats can change. We're not, we're not going to just accept that this is the this is the percentage of the population that's going to be impoverished and, and going to um, go through hardship all the time and they're going to have unproductive lives. And no, we're not going to give them that tag. We're going to change the tag since we control the writing, right? Gave us thing, didn't he? So let's write something else on the tag. Let's say that the percentage is 25% that's failing. Let's say we we decrease it by 50%. Well, let's just kill it. You know, let, let's let's kill it eventually. But let's have some uh, let's have some steps. Step number one, kill it by 10%. Step number two, 40. Step number three, 60. And then by step number four or five, we're done. 
And what, and what done means is that the population will see what they need to see, uh, understand that, that God is real. Right? And so whether you want to acknowledge it or not now, eventually you will. So it's better to do that now. So what has happened, the entire population has realized that. So now they're all God conscious, which t uh, drastically improves everything from the economy to the family to the church and state separation no longer to an extent because you have to have you have to have clarity and operation but we all no matter where we are do say or live can agree on one common thing that God is real he's real and if you do that you'll be able to use the power of God Again, lost a lot of people right there. Like you, he just said he didn't use the power of God. <laughs> Listen, that's the way it is. He made us like this. You, do you know what would, if you slide back, let's say past 100 years, maybe even, let's go back 200. Let's, let's go back to Henry Ford time. Let's go back, let's go back to Edison or the light bulb. Let's go way back there. Can you imagine if you walk into a room where, let's say 10,000 people, he went on stage, and you showed them the iPhone. <laughs> you will blow their mind. Some of some of those folks in that building, mind will be blown forever. Just blown. The, the the technology, the mindset, just wasn't ready. It wasn't ready for. Who who's to say it wasn't ready? It it didn't happen. So they never experienced it. And over time, we evolved. We got better. You know, we we we, we increased mental capacity. That's why. You know, Carl Lewis or Jesse Owens, who who destroyed the 100 meter uh, record, set the 100 meter record for gold in the Olympics. And then Carl Lewis came along and he crushed it. And then you had other guys, Maurice Green, those guys come along. And then somebody like Hussein Bolt comes along. And it just, I mean, literally obliterates every record you've ever seen. Wow. If you would have had that guy back in Jesse Owens' time, again, mind's blown. They, 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 they weren't ready. Well, I'm not going to say they weren't ready. They just didn't experience that. Right. So now we have the ability by getting organized to be on be levels and levels and levels ahead. We have we, we, levels and levels and levels ahead of the curve and ahead and ahead of the norm. If we choose to apply um, this ready made information. Right. And so since information is ready made for you, take it, absorb it. Follow the steps. You, if you follow the step, if you follow the steps on the map to get to the destination that it describes, if you follow the steps, you will arrive. And that's may sound mystical, but it really isn't. Success leaves clues. There's a trail. You just have to find it and then follow it. It's no more. It's not. The, the complication stops there. It only begins again when you create it. Because that is the truth. Success leaves clues. Find a trail.